Hey guys, today we are deck profiling the winning list from the Sunday Open created by It's Vongo 210. This is an ADP Zacian list. It's a very solid list. So let's start off with the deck. We have two Crobat V. Darkest set is just an awesome ability to have when you draw to your six cards in your hand. Edos limited once per turn. You might remember Shane Mini X and Roaring, God, Roaring Skies. Crobat is basically Shaman EX, but it's 70 more XP and limited once per turn. So, I think Shaman EX is better, but Crobat's still an awesome and solid card. Um, 280p, Altered Creation GX is basically the way you win your game. Altered Creation letting you do 30 more damage or taking an extra prize card if you have a metal and water energy. Which is very good because then if you can get another energy on, you can use Ultimate Ray. And then you can, like, use, um... Boss's orders, so you can like boss up like the Denes and Crobat, which is just very good because then, like, for example, let's say one of them is like a cape and toughness or big sham attached to it, you can use Tool Scrapper to get rid of one of those tools, so that's pretty solid. Then you have two to Dene, just consistency is very important. Um. One mile while captivating wink. This is a really good one of my favorite cards in this deck, probably because its ability lets you put down as many basic Pokemon. So you know, like in the Mew three box matchup, they're probably gonna have a lot of Pokemon in their hand. So and then you can just put them down on their bench with captivating wink. And you know how Crobat and the Dene are both limited to once per turn. Um, Mawile can make your opponent have some extra of those cards in their hand, which can make their hand super clunky, which is just very good and just awesome for the whole game. I think when I put that Mute through deck, their hand was pretty much super clunky after I did Mawile. Then we have three Zacian, Brayblade is just super good, and also Instrument Sword is a great way to end your turn if you can't get that turn one out to creation. One more Coriol in this deck. And this card is pretty good because um, when your Pokemon is knocked out, you can draw three. So you can, you can pretty much, if you're like ADP gets knocked out after you get a knockout, you can like go like Crobat, then the Dene plus Dance. You can like literally see like a ton of cards. You can pretty much see like up to 21 cards that turn because if you go Crobat for six, and then you have like, and then you go um, Research, then the Dene, you can actually see 22 cards. So yeah, Dance Attribution seems like a pretty solid ability. Three Cherish Ball. Consistency is very good. Cherish Ball letting you get Oracorio, ADP, the Dene, and Mawile because they're all GXs. Unfortunately, Cherish Ball can't search Zacian V and Crobat because it is only for GXs, though. So. Yeah. Two E Spinner. Very important, especially if you go second because you can get like a. um. Water and metal, and then you go quick ball away that metal, and then you're looking to Dene or Crobat, and then you can go water, and then try to dig for your metal saucer and E switch combo. Also, next time we're talking about E switch, then you move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. Very good with the next time we're going to talk about metal saucer because you, you, you know, you have like quick balls and the, the Dene, which let you discard your hand. So, you can pretty much go with Metal Saucer, East Witch, from your Zacian to your ADP. And then just all you just need is the Water Energy Attachment. Sometimes Metal Saucer East Witch is hard to do, but with a list like Vong's where he has Turbo Patches, it's just very good also. For Pokemon Catcher, you're really needing that Ghost under the Denny's and Bats. It's just super important. So having four Catcher is like technically having like four, but eight Gust effects. But on average, if you're Pokemon Catcher, if you have two of them at once, one of them will flip heads. So technically, like you're having six Gust effects, which is still very important. And two Gust effects is very worth it for the stick. And it's a coin flip, so it could go either way. You could get like three heads out of four. One head out of four, which isn't great. Zero head out of four, which is not fun. Or four head out of four, which you which you want. Also, it's just pretty good if you need instead of using boss. But boss is just great. 
Boss, I use switch on your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active, so that's very important because you can gust and their Dedenes and their Crobats. For Quick Bow, I want you to get Metal Energy in the discard and they get to get a basics like anything in your deck pretty much because all your Pokemon are basic. So Quick Bow seems awesome. For switch, it's just really important to switch your your Pokemon because you, if you want to position the active, you want it to go to the bench because you can only use Metal Saucer when it's on a bench because Metal Saucer does say attach a Metal Energy card from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's very good. Tool Scrapper, very important for getting rid of tools. So that's really good because you know, I was worried about the Luke Metal matchup. They're probably going to have like Metal Goggles and Full Metal... Then you use Full Metal Walls, they're resisting 60 damage from Rosations. But then if you use Toast Scrapper, you're going to be able to one-shot them. And that will be very, very good for the game. You'll probably maybe even let you win the game. Two Tarot Patch, even though it's on a coin flip, it's still really good because you get to um, attach a energy and... It's also good because you might have, get like a crushing hammer head from your opponent. So if you get a terror patch head, you're gonna attach it to like your Zacian and E switch it to back your ADP and then you're gonna have an attachment return so you can go ultimate raise. That's another reason terror patch is good. One Viridian Forest, it's just pretty good for to bump like annoying stadiums like Wanderers Lab with, which makes your attacks one more. So just having one Viridian Forest, even though it could be hard to find you do have Oracle and a, a lot of other ways to Go with your deck like the Zenes and Crobats and Professor's Research. Alright, so four boss. It's just really important to gust in this deck. That's why EP got so dominant when boss is winners came out and Rebel Clash. For Professor's Research, it's really important to discard your hand and draw seven just a pretty good way to start out in the early term and trying to go for that term one altered creation from adp and that's two big charm i like this more to keep it toughness because pretty good turn this matchup you know they ha might have drills one big charm they could probably deal with but it's kind of hard for them to have two drills because most of turn is next are playing like one drill so i like the big charm and then we have the eight Metal and two water for the energy cow. I definitely like that. And now we're going to be playing a game with this deck. Cool. So you probably want to go first on ladder. Because you don't know what we're up against. Unfortunately, we did lose the coin flip. So it looked like he is going to be going first. This is alright because we are very aggressive in this deck. And we will mulligan our first hand. So let's see how this will be. Looking like an interesting hand. Unfortunately, we need to get rid of two metal saucer probably. Because we're probably going to want to go quick ball for our dead Dene. But, yeah, this is okay. Look at, like, a rock rush start from my opponent. This might be the Dragapult. Like a rock deck. Nope, Machamp Marshadow. Psychic Energy Pass. This might be, like, a Tina Chop interesting deck. Seems cool. Um, so, Viridian will go down. Um, we might as well put Oracle down. It just seems fine to have Edge of Bench to drift. We'll go Cook Ball. Gonna get rid of a uh, um, Metal Saucer. Doesn't seem that great. That get me the Dene. That's pretty important. And we'll just go with that Dene change here. Then goes us to discard our hand and draw us up six cards. And we have a pretty stacked hand, so we can try to go Pokemon Catcher. Tails, that's fine. We just want to burn them. Double Tails, I'm a little unfortunate. It's alright though. And go Crobat for three. Hopefully, you can get us a quick ball or a cherish ball. None of those yet, but we did manage to find a turbo patch, so we will do that. A heads, that's really important because then we can put energy onto our Zacian V. And then I think we're good to just go research this hand because we, really we don't really need to put a Zacian down. We were very close to that altered creation. Couldn't quite. Oh, yeah, we did get there. 
I think he's got Cherish to get us off to that ADP. And if you'll come down, we're going to switch him to the active. East switch. My bad, I forgot about Viridian Forest. Then we can go Viridian. Tossing away a uh, metal to get ourselves a water energy. And look at that. We got that turn one also creation. What a great start. But I don't know what else I would have wanted. Forgot about the Viridian Forest. That card is very good in this deck. I see they probably have the good luck in rough, but I'm not positive. There's a crushing hammer from our opponent. Look like it is a heads here, so that's gonna be a little unfortunate. And they have the Twilight Eyes. Luckily, Rock Lenny has to get them get rid of all of our energy pretty quickly. So that's a little very interesting deck. Definitely do not accept this pl to play against this. Looking like a Galarian Corsola V deck. That's very interesting. Maybe this might be like that, like fighting deck that came out of Champions Path. Yeah, it's probably that. Looking like my opponent's getting very lucky on coin flips. Here. I'm gonna see that only to the active. Oh, one of their Pokemon. Alright, that's a little bit annoying because then we can um um we're gonna get some damage on our Zacian. Yep. Okay. Um who for reading in ADP, which I probably will do. I don't really like ADP in our deck that much anymore, so we'll get that. And we need to go with Intrepid Sword here. And those are some pretty good cards. So we did manage to draw out of it. So that's pretty good. Let's see what our opponent will do here. There's a Viridian getting rid of a Lycan Rock, getting my Psychic Energy. There's an Attachment. There's a Team Yelgrun. This is a very interesting deck. So we're going to go three to Rosacean here. That makes sense. There's a Crobat top deck. I don't really know if I really like Crobat that much in this scenario. I honestly feel like I'm just fine going with Intrepid Swords here. So we're going to go Quick Ball. Getting rid of a Crobat. Probably can get us an Rosacean if it's here. It is here, so that's good. And then we can just go with Intrepid Sword from um, this station. Yeah, it seems fine. Okay, doubles, cherish, boss. That's fine. The boss could be good later. Seems okay. So we're down. We're down. Three saucer and two turbo patch. This could be a little bit rough. Now we're going to see all the guys. Gonna probably get back that team yell grunt. Yep, that's what they're gonna do. Team yell grunt getting an energy into our hand. There's a Viridian Forest getting him a fighting energy. Probably gonna attach him to their midchamp Marshadow. Yep, Energy Dome Enchant Marshadow, and there's a Hollow Missile. Alright. Seems fine. We don't really have, we don't really have a ton, though. We don't, we're kind of wishing for a Metal Saucer. I don't really want to attach Energy at this rate. Is this only active? Or active spot? If we can go boss around it, this seems fine. Pokemon Catcher. There's a head Flip. That's pretty good, because you can bring up his Lycanroc, which is a 2 retreat cost. That will get rid of his hollow missile effect, and then we guys go with that intrepid sword ability. So we are going to be able to hit an energy. That's a pretty big deal. Now we will be able to get ahead of the energy race. So that's really important. Buxy, will really manage to find a switch? They might not have any switching cards. Oh, no, they do have a switch, yeah. So I might have a switch. Look like Viridian Forest getting rid of get Tina Chomp. What's that do? So each energy by opponent is this so we'll have two, so I don't want to do um sixty. This is going to turn into this counter box, it feels like. Okay, the energy there. There's a switch into the Machamp Marshadow. There's a Crobat for five, alright. There's an Air Balloon. There's a Cherish Ball. There's a Fail. Okay. Did Dene. Jedi Chain, so I think I'm discarding your hand and drawing six cards. Boss's orders, oh no. 
Not to be proud of lose, cause I don't really see a great attacker. I guess we could knock out their Dedenne if we can find a Metal Saucer after Dance of Tribute. But then they can probably just go with the Acme of Heroism. So yeah, I'd probably not take an L this one. Don't see a win con at this point. I think it's very interesting though. Probably but maybe we went down to resources too quickly. I assume so. Alright. Let's just share a spawn to see what we have left. Yeah, fail. We just want to see a metal saucer. Okay, metal saucer is in the deck. And I think we'll just go with them. Dang, I'm hoping we ourselves a metal saucer. There's no metal saucer. Alright, that's a big whiff. Not good. I think we just lose. I guess we could try to go Pokemon Catcher, but they got Air Balloon down. Uh, I think we're probably done. Um, Pokemon Catcher. Tails. Bosses or whatever Up their bat, probably? Yeah? I think we could go Intrepid Sword. No, I guess I could put Mawile down and switch into it and pass back. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see, do we have switch left? Okay, we do have switch left. That's pretty good. Mawile. Switch into Mawile. Attach to Zacian. Intrepid Sword. Alright, hard wave. We might be out of energy. Yeah, it seems like we're like the near right of our energy, so. Probably gonna lose. Let's see, do they switch this? They probably do. Pretty much be shot or energy. Also, energy works. We have already in getting rid of the Corsola. Yep, getting rid of energy. Energy there. What's Acme do? Yeah, I think we just lose. All right. Gee, not gonna scoop it up yet, but I think we're done. I don't see a win condition, but I think we should at least try to take a prize card here, at the very least. Um, quick ball, getting rid of a researcher. I think we're gonna fail that. Attach. Mint. Spinner. Fail. Dance. Metal saucer. No metal saucer. What is this luck? Um, let me look. Let me look at this. So it says, so it's basically like a fuck stash for the turn. Yeah, I think we're past back. Very cool duck on my opponent's end, though. All right, there's that hammer stuff. There's a high blows impact. We barely survive. Metal size their top deck. Okay, it might not be the end. No, we yeah, I think we're trapped we're trapped, right? No, not yet. We need to oh yeah, we are checkmated because if we boss up their Corsola, they can just go hollow missile, kill my HP. Yeah, I think I'll probably be the end. We can boss up something. But I don't know I don't think we win this. I said kill the course over, and then they'll probably get they'll get spawned with hundred blows impact. Yep, GG. Wow, buddy. All right, so we do knock out the course over, so we can at least take the three prizes. That's something. But then they can just finish up the game with their um. Machamp, Marchado. That could be the game. Very spicy deck though. See if I can help you guys up with the list, but who knows? All right, GG. All right, take me now. All right, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Here's my punk list. If you guys are all interested, it's a very spicy deck for sure. I never thought I'd be playing against this today. I'm playing against like a send this gorge like a meta deck because this is very unique. So yeah, very spicy. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the my deck profile and gameplay on ADP. Here's the list if you guys are all curious. I know you guys already saw it, but just in case if you want to see it again, here it is. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys back for some 
more tech profiles soon.